All right, I'm going to be trying to create a plot here. I want to have length on the x-axis, so I highlight down to the zero. I hold the command key, and I drag from period squared down to the blank cell. That allows me to predict, or ask, ask Excel to predict, if I have zero on the x, what is the y value? And then I'm going to hold the command key again and go from theoretical period squared down to zero. So now I've highlighted both my Y series with the command key held down. Then I'm going to go into the gallery and if it's not already chosen go into charts. Charts expand and I can find XY scatter and then I can choose the first option with just the data points. I like to right click right away on a white space and say move chart and put it on a new sheet. And now I can look at the new sheet. Uh, it's first step, chart etiquette, maximize the graph on the screen so that you're using as much of the white paper for the graph. And that's assuming you're going to print, print on white paper. Maybe you're going to print on pink paper, or, you know, who knows. I've chosen a theoretical data set, and that's really a line. So I'm going to choose a line style for the format. Here's my actual data, which when I right click on the data, I can say add a trend line. The trend line has options, and within options, I want to display the equation, display the R squared. Those appeared as I checked those. You can see how linear this data is. It's actually quite amazing. And right away, I noticed that the grid line is going right through my box. So I'm going to highlight my box and choose a, a fill color for it so I don't have to worry about the, the grid line going through it. Now, the Y intercept is, is of interest in most experiments, but in this particular experiment there's an x-intercept down here somewhere, and that's of much more physical interest. So I want to ask Excel to show me that x-intercept. As I move my mouse around you can see that it's near to the trend line, so I can right-click on the trend line and choose, let me do it up here, right-click on the trend line and choose Format Trend Line. Under options, I can forecast it backwards. Now, this version of Excel has a bug. If I go back by 0.5, well, nothing happens. Okay, that's, that's just a bug in this version of Excel. So I'm going to go into Format Trend Line, and I have to go backward by a whole unit before the, the backward um, <laughs> forecasting excuse me, works. But there's a problem now we have exaggerated our scale. So we want to change our scale values for the X and for the Y. So I'm just going to double click on these scale numbers and then go into scale and for the minimum I'm going to set it to negative 0.1 I think should be appropriate. That looks good. And then for the Y I'm going to double click on the Y scale. I might go negative 0.3. Yeah, that's actually looking pretty good. Now I'd like a text box to talk about the x-intercept. So I'm just going to draw my text box and say x-intercept yada yada yada. You know, I'm going to type something there. I want to give my box a line. And I probably want to draw a line. I like this tool. Down to this x-intercept and put it up on my box there. And then maybe make my line a little bit thicker. And I'm just showing you some of these tools here. Oh, I forgot line color. Oh, let's make it blue. If you don't have this toolbar right here, you go up to the view menu, toolbars, drawing, and that toolbar allows you to make all these things. You're also going to want another text box somewhere over here showing to make a clock, dot, dot, dot. And you're also going to want one more text box. So I can just hold the Option key and drag this text box border. And this one, whoa, things are a little hay wonky now. Ooh, that's a cool word. These are going to be your equations. Equations. Oh, yeah, I should just stop typing. Describing period squared and, and um, period squared theory. Well, I hope that helped you in figuring out how to do that x-intercept display here and reminding you that you need to have at least three text boxes describing the different key components of this plot. Have fun!